Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error code 0XA00F4243 camera reserved by another app on your computer. Now, there might be an instance when you're trying to launch the camera on your computer and as you launch the camera, you might come across this error message. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is if it is an external camera and it is connected via USB hub, try to disconnect the camera from the USB hub and plug it directly into your USB port on the computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now this should definitely fix the problem. Doesn't fix the problem. The next step, basic step, what you could try to do is to restart the computer and then try to open the camera and check if the uh, issue has been resolved. Because most of the time, you may not know which application is using the camera. Restarting the computer will eliminate the applications which are using the camera and that should fix the problem. Now, in spite of this, if you're still facing a problem, you can begin with the first step. The first step is to go ahead and run the hardware troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you will have to go ahead and type the command msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic i will mention this command in the video description you can copy and paste it from the video description once you have the command you may click on ok that should open the hardware and device diagnostic tool you may go ahead and click on advanced and i'll see also check the option which says apply repairs automatic then click on next wait for the diagnostic tool to identify what is causing the problem and fix the issue by itself it might take about a minute or two once the hardware and devices diagnostic is completed you might come across the uh, message based on the diagnostic which has been done on the computer in my case it says device install settings the windows update is not currently set to check for the most update so i can go ahead and check the option which says enable so basically it will go ahead and check for the updates and try to install the latest update or else you can click on leave disable my recommendation is to go ahead and click on enable if you get this option otherwise you may click on close then try to launch the camera and check if the issue has been resolved this should fix the problem now in case if it doesn't resolve the problem the next step is to go ahead and check the privacy settings to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on setting once you are on the settings you will have to click on privacy and security once you are on the privacy and security you will have to scroll down and look for apps permission locate for camera click on it once this is done make sure the camera option is being enabled so both for the camera access and let apps access your camera make sure it is being enabled once this is done you may close this window and then try to check if your issue has been resolved now in case if it resolves a problem you don't have to try the next step the next step now the next step is to go ahead and reinstall the camera driver so we can do a right click on the start button and then look for device manager once you have the device manager open you can go ahead and expand this window and locate for cameras check if there are any cameras which are currently integrated with your system so basically at the moment i have an inbuilt camera so you would see all the cameras listed here so all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on the integrated cameras and then use the option which says uninstall device once you get a prompt you may go ahead and click on uninstall and once this is done restart your computer once you restart your computer do a right click on the start button again and then click on device manager once you are on the device manager locate for cameras do a right click and then click on scan for hardware changes and then locate for integrated cameras since you have already uninstalled the integrated webcam you may not see this option enabled you would see an option you would see this option as a grayed out so you can do a right click and then click on update driver search automatically for the drivers and you would see this message which says the best driver for you device is already installed check the box which says search for the updated drivers on windows update so basically what this will do is this will go ahead and check if there are are any drivers to be installed on the computer via windows update here you can go ahead and click on check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed on the computer in case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer i would suggest you to go ahead and install those updates restart your computer and then try to launch the camera and that should fix a problem now in spite of this if you are still facing a problem the next method is to make sure that you have enabled the critical services to do this you can do a right click on the start 
start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on ok this should open the services window once you have the services window locate for capability access manager services it would be in alphabetical order do a right click on capability access manager services and then click on properties make sure this service is running now in case if the service is not running not running make sure it has been running by clicking on the start button and at the same time make sure the startup type has been set to automatic then click on start click on apply and then click on ok close this window and then try to launch the camera and check if the issue has been resolved the last method what you could try is you can reset the camera app now to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on setting once you are on the settings page you may go ahead and click on apps and then click on the installed app once you are on the installed app section locate for camera click on the three dotted lines or ellipses to get more option and then click on advanced option under this scroll down and look for the option which says terminate click on it and then click on repair wait for the apps to repair it would take about a minute or less than that once this is done you may go ahead and click on reset and then click on reset again so this will go ahead and reset your camera app on the computer once the reset is complete you may close this window restart your computer and then try to open the camera app and that should fix a problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day